everyone and welcome to another modern video we're playing a red green through the breach today one of the best decks in modern that just won the modern showcase challenge a few weeks ago a few weekends ago and uh, yeah this deck is very powerful it has the tron element of having fast mana like you can labyrinth eldrazi temple cosgas command as well as the very strong powerful early plays like the one ring and so Mika spawn as well as the top end of through the breach and emrakul the eon storm Let's get to the games we are already on the play on the draw here the zend isn't fantastic but ancient steering can dig deep to find a eldrazi temple or a yugin's labyrinth so that we can do a turn two Kozugas command and then follow it up with more Kozugas command if ancient steering's bricks it's gonna be hard but yeah, i think this is a keep Island? Hamio, alright. Let's hope to find Yugin's Labyrinth. That would be the best hit. And I do find it. Alright. Yankuri, thank you for the 20th month. Welcome, welcome. So, uh, with Yugin's Labyrinth, I can already exile the Tamio. But being on the draw is going to be very rough here, because my opponent. Yeah, I had a strong curve that we could have countered by being on the play, but it is what it is. Let's go against Labyrinth, put an Emrakul under it. And then let's go for the Kozax command, exiling Tamio and making a token. Yeah, if they orc the token, uh, it's fine. I don't think I need to draw here. Next time I have 4 mana, I can do different things, I can either exile the, the frog, or I can- actually, what if I block the frog here? It's not that bad. Bad idea. I think I will. I don't think I need this guy here and this the nice opponent a card. Nice, through the breach, very strong. For now I'll pass, if I put a crack the clue, then I'll exile the frog. And I put a will crack the clue, they have to be inefficient, even if they have counter spell. Alright, looks like they actually don't have to. I will play this regardless, trying to exile the frog and making tokens. I put a will play counter spell, but then we may maybe win the game with through the breach next turn. So we're going to go Counterspell here, most likely. And then we'll see, because they have that Swamp, uh, which... Mission in play. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so now any land, I'll uh, most likely jam the through the Reach. They, they may have Force of Negation and things, but... The Discord Spells in there makes sense. There's only a Talisman that they can uh, counter with that. But they may... I have like four... Uh, I guess they don't have Force of Negation. Alright, so land for the win, please. Okay. Um, two options. I can go ring or I can go Kozilek's command. I think I'd rather go Kozilek's command the third time. It's gonna be. It's gonna be good. I guess going ring. How can you actually lose if you go ring? Nah, let's go ring. Let's go ring. Cause like if I go kill the frog and they just go like new frog, we counter spell up. I think it's bad. Alright, no, I'm miss, missing land drop. That's okay. I just feel like my point of shooter cracked the clue in my end of step. Did, it didn't feel like... Um... Okay. So... I feel like I want to tap this ring. Even if, even, if, even if they go orc, it's okay. Okay, they don't have orc. Uh, mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna go Drazi Temple. Now, I have 5 miles to play through the breach in my opponent and step, and then through the breach in my turn. 
think I'd rather, rather just play Kozlev Command instead. The Bar of Destiny, I think it's nice. Because it's uncounterable. So I'm going to go Kozlev Command on the Frog. Opponent is going to... Yeah, I really need to hit a land drop last turn. Anyway. Um... I think I'll get the Varer. And then I'll uh, just uh, cool this command the frog in upkeep again. Okay, this time they crack the clue. I, I don't want to do anything now because um, I don't want to make my opponent use money in my turn. I want to make them use counterspell in their turn so they can't play double counterspell. I'll make tokens and exile. It's for three, it doesn't matter. There's no four spike in the format. <laughs> Fool's Legacy, I would have done it for two, playing around days. Hello, Wire. Okay, wow, Frog worked. They don't have a threat. They don't have anything. Okay, more more mana like that. So how much mana do I have here? I actually don't have double red. I have two, three, quatre, cinque. Yeah, I don't have double red. Even if I draw into a red source with the ring. Uh, I think I'm just going Yugin's Labyrinth. Pitch Emrapool, pass the turn. One of the strength of Through the Breach is that it's red, it's an instant. Four mana, what's this? Subtlety, okay. I'll, uh, I mean, I can draw now with the ring. This way, they can't Orcish Bowmaster me. And then I'll go to discard of one card. All this dust. And the turn I'll play through the breach. Opponent may have drawn in the lock based on how they tapped the mana last turn. Second frog, no problem. They may have death. They may have had death then. Let's play through the bridge. This is end of turn of my opponent. This is an instant. If you put into play Emrakul, it remains until your end step. Blue black. They play the um, draw in the lock. Sure. We untap. Take three. Okay. Buongiornissimo, Fede Bello. How much do I have here? Maybe I can Arcast Emrakul. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, not at all. Uh, it's okay. Do I want to tap this ring? Sure, why not? Uh, let's just play through the breach. Let's see what happens. The force of will. Sorry, force of negation. All right. Yeah, they have six permanents. All right. Now, playing against a deck with Merktide, Psychic Frog, Tamiyo. <laughs> the Rhino Fool will definitely be good. Uh, this member. Mm. I remember when I was playing against Tron with Frogtide, uh, they dismember my frog, I discarded four cards, and I won the game. I, I don't want to do the same, uh, the same play. Okay, what do I want to cut? Is Through the Breach bad? Is Through the Breach bad in this matchup? Maybe it's not good, because they have like counters and stuff. Uh, 
I'm not sure. Eh? I'm just uh, trying to think if this plan may work. Like against counters, maybe you side the combo out, and that's why you have the War Breaker main. Let's try. Let's try and see. On the draw against counters, I mean, Droid Emrakul is like a mulligan. Like it's not good. I guess you have Gwyn's Labyrinth. Connor man, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Alright, this end is very good. We're playing Gruul Breach. Alright, I'm gonna go Stamio. I'm gonna go Gin's Labyrinth, Pitch World Breaker, Talisman, Rhino Fool. That's a very good turn one. Ugin's Labyrinth is so good in this deck. It definitely makes this deck possible. Again, unclear if you should still keep playing Rana Fula when Nadu gets banned. But I mean, it's definitely good against Frog Tide. Bayan. I did indeed have a great holiday. Thank you, thank you. Next turn, we're casting an uncountable Mika Spawn. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I'm just jamming the ring. Like if they have a consigned to memory, sure. But I think Mika Spawn is better than this. It's better than just a mana thing. Plus, like if they don't have a counter here, the game is over, you know? I feel like you gotta play around counter spell and just jam when they don't have it up. The consent to memory enforced negation, you can't really play around them. So my opponent may have um, Orkish Bowmaster. So I think my play here to play around that is to go Lend, Talisman, and then I want to tap the ring. So if they play Orc, I play Kulzas Command on it. I'm probably scrying draw this time and not making tokens. Because last time I had threats, this time I don't have threats. So the Kulzas Command will, will do me for that. Man, it's turn three. I've done so many things. It's so good. So uh, I want to I scry and draw here. I don't think I need the mana. Again, they can have consent to memory on all these cards, but hmm, this, this is actually very good. Now just one, because I'm drawing with the ring. Or oh wow, I didn't think about that. I was. I was going, yeah, sure, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe I should have made tokens? Considering that I was going to draw with the ring, maybe I should have made tokens, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was a mistake. I should have drawn, I should have made tokens. Do, do, do. Okay, so point has four mana up, they shocked. Okay, I was going to say because they have subtlety, but I guess they don't. Twelve. The Fire of Destiny, not bad. I'll top the ring. Hmm. Um. Okay. It's my play here. How much mana do I have? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I got 8 mana. I can go Mika Spawn for 6. Hmm. I kind of want to just. I kind of want to just pick up. Um, I want to pick up the. Maybe a Razi Temple. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, let's do that. So, I'll play Aldrazi Temple. Game is not over yet. Maybe risking it a bit too much with the One Ring. Change phase. I'll play Gin's Labyrinth. Pitch all his dust. I'll play another Talisman. Sure. Don't think I wanna play no oh, yeah, I can't play ancient steerings now. Go. My twelve I'm gonna go to nine. Does Warbreaker exile my own ring? It does? Oh, I didn't know that. Never made that play before. I have never made that play before. When it goes force and negation, sure. So what's the what's the sequencing here? Because I kinda wanna just kill my ring. And they have force of negation. I think I'm gonna go dismember on orc army. Uh, can I top this and then have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, perfect. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll start with dismember on the orc army. Let's see if they force of negation on this. They do okay. Didn't expect that. I'm not saying it's a bad play. Just saying they didn't expect it. Okay. Now I need to exile the ring. Let's attack the Narset first. Hello, Van. Yeah. Unfortunately, I just need to exile the ring, and that's it. Or how much do I have? Two, quattro, cinque, sei, sette. So I actually can play this first in case I find um, another ring. Yeah, should I pre combat then? I guess no need to use Lugin's Labyrinth now. And I'll exile my own ring. Gatsu, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the stream. I don't actually know what this does. Uh, let's read it together. When I cast its spell, target opponent is at the top half of the library. Useless. Worse, it goes to permanence. Decent. When is the buff whenever a person was going to. Okay. Okay, decent. So, seven. Because uh, this is exiled. Why not draw with the ring? It's unfortunately, I would have drawn only in paper. Magical line, Narset would have forbidden me that. Okay, Merc Tide. I got the Devourer. Um, bah. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's just play the Devourer. Ooh, consign? Yeah, wow. Wow, okay. It's not over yet. Actually, I may die if my opponent has a removal spell for World Breaker. I 
may die. Let's see. Brazen Borrower. Or Brick Among its many lines of text has reach. And also, I can get back to my hand if I suck a land. Can I uh, do double spell next turn? I don't think I can. Unfortunately, this cast is totally useless. Uh, I feel like I should not do anything. Let me think about this. End of turn. So if I return Warbreaker to my hand and then return this, that needs 14 mana. No way I have 14 mana. I think I just have to get back Warbreaker. I mean, it's uncountable because of Cavern, so at least... They can't counterspell it. Uh, how do I get it back? Sacrificing a land or tapping this? Probably sacrificing a land is better. Nah, let's just return this. Yeah. Actually, I, do, I can do both. I can do both if I want. Maybe more mana efficient for next turns. Maybe that this member was bad. I'm trying to think, like, this game was basically unlosable, so I definitely made some mistakes along the way. Be in this spot. I don't exactly know where it happened, where it went wrong. This is uncounterable. Wow, I actually lose. Opponent said uh, earlier in the game, man, your hand is literally unbeatable, but they did beat it. They did beat it. Hmm. Narset was very powerful. The dismember was maybe bad. Would all this dust also be encounterable? All in paper. Dynarobo. Thank you for the 30th month. Thank you, thank you. I feel like I don't want to change. I don't want to change my plan. I think my plan worked. I think I just probably made some mistake with this member. All right. What does this hand do? I think that hand was a mulligan. Keeping this. It's not great, but let's keep it. A bunch of metallis, man. Let's play steerings. I think it's bad, but I have to take a land here. Samuel, mm-hmm. Okay, ring is a good draw. Man, I played ring turn two and I lost. Must have, I must have made some mistake. You can't play ring turn two and lose.
I'm gonna go probably just Mika spawn. And then what? Get a... Get a Ugin's Labyrinth? Maybe get Cavern. Yeah, I think I'd rather get Cavern in this matchup. A cast world breaker like imagine if this world breaker was like a through the breach or an emerald well i think it would have been just much much worse you know i think so at least yeah and that they have to counter this but at least they don't draw off a clue plus like counter spell can also go on ring it's not that like they just countered a heal giant because it did its job already so I'm I'm pretty happy with this this play. I think it was a good uh, bait for the ring. You can play both as you shelters all, yeah. Oh, I think I guess counter is uh, that play is not too good. Oh wow, opponent taps out. I mean, they probably have a force of negation, but we'll see. No. If they have force of negation, they don't have it. Okay. Time is on six already. Unfortunately, we're breaker. Ah, it's not kill planeswalkers. Second time in a row that I get hosed by Narsa today. I need to draw land to be able to play war breaker and counterable. Come on, land, land, babena. I'll try to blow up this, although opponent can just consign to memory that ability. Or some subtlety as well works. Yeah. Yeah. Tamio. Tamio is winning the game next turn. Realist Milkman. Thank you for the fourth month. Welcome to the stream. The reveal of force of negation. My out here is uh, the Devourer of Destiny. Because force of negation now counters all his dust. I need Devourer of Destiny. That's a card I need. I'll draw one with the ring end of turn. Take two, and then I need to draw the Bar of Destiny. Or it's over. It's over. Oh. GG. Twice I played a ring, I resolved the ring, and I lost. Narset cracked me. Narset cracked me both times. Game 2 denied me 4 cards, and this game denied me 3 cards. No, 4 cards this game as well. Yeah, Narset just broke me. I have no answers to Narset. I just, I guess, the Var of Destiny. Uh... Or maybe I shouldn't have cited the way I did. I think this game is super interesting. And you know, if you play this deck, definitely let me know how you would have played it. Maybe Trinosphere? I need to bring in Trinosphere? Could be. Yeah, you can have Boseju Shelter Zol and keep the combo in. 
I guess that's a plan. But I mean, it's not in the list, and uh... okay, Temple Garden, also the Pride. Mm-hmm. Not sure what that means. I'll reveal the Varro in upkeep. I did not set in training, no, maybe. Maybe that would have been good. I'll uh, take a land. It's not a great land, though, but it's okay. John Sebastian. Looking for the one ring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, should have should have had Trina Sphere. So many free counters, I agree, I agree. This is you know card disadvantage. Typical like anti storm card. I didn't feel great about it, but maybe should have just had it. I think I want to get Aldrazi Temple. Turns out that this Capital of Forest was just bad. I should have just de denied all of them. Anyway, let's get Aldrazi Temple here. So I can do Kuzuma for 3 next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're back with Guide of Souls. And let me for one, gain a life, make a token, gain a life, gain an energy. I should exile both of my opponent's cards here if I want to. Or I can just play the one ring. If we go, do you, do you say I had the combo against um, Froctide? Or do you keep in the combo? Got any Township? What? Is it one of them playing Brute Skill, Rosy Cotton combo deck? They may be. Elliot. But uh, the ring protection. Let's just save some time. Okay, so next turn I'll draw, draw two more. Well, ideally I draw the combo. I just get over that's half of it. That's the other half of it. That's very lucky. Yeah, actually kill all my opponent's permanents. Clean. Because uh, there's uh, the Bower of Destiny is in the Exile Zone. So the Ulamog will come to play with seven uh, counters on it. Never mind. There's an Emrakul. <laughs> that exiled with the Bower that I forgot about. <laughs> but Magical Land doesn't forget. Uh, Solitude? That's funny. Take a screenshot. All right. I gave twenty. I gained twenty-two, but my opponent maybe has uh, some combo next turn with Heliod. Oh no. 
No, chat. Boy, I thought they were putting the counter of Heliod for the life gain instead of exiled. Also a pride. Said. Maybe I should throw him some so and make a spawn in this matchup. I don't want to take out the combo. I don't have a 7 drop yet. Hope to draw it so I can do turn 2 pose as cup return. Okay. Okay, let's draw seven draw. But misclick an attack. All right, no seven drop, unfortunately. Thank you, Le Fuego. So you're you trim breach Ulamog and Emmer cool against control. I see. Yeah, I just had to cut a whole combo. And also close deck return, so 10 cards. For the World Breaker. What do you guys sign in? World Breaker, Rana Fool, so 7. What do you guys sign in? World Breaker, Rana Fool, Dismember. Yeah, I said it in Dismember, and all, and all this dust as well. Maybe that was a mistake. Wherever to put the counters on this turn will be the last uh, thing they keep. They didn't put it anywhere. Sweep. What's that? Force of uh, the White Force? Okay. No White Force. Do -do 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 Um,
Is this exile? Yeah. This is a May, right? Yeah. Kozilex return. You see, you don't play Kozilex return. Oh, I've, always, I've always seen uh, Kozilex return in... Uh, in these type of decks. <laughs> and this deck is doing better on Magic Line than Tron, although I'm not so sure it's better than Tron. I think they're both like excellent and they're probably like equally ranked. I had to start thinking about that because Channel Fireball asked me to do another power rankings after the ban. So I have to start thinking about decks in a ranking system. Like I was doing in the past. Breach is very good against energy. I understand. That's a good point. Alright, I want to draw. My hand is like turn two Kozilek's command. I think it's a keep in the dark. I like Ancient Tomb. I feel like I should keep it hands with Ancient Tomb. Uh, do I want a Gemation Tomb turn 1? Yeah, because that might draw a another one, and I want to do this X equal 2. If they play like Dothy Woodwalker, for example. Oops, there's a second Swamp. Okay. Necrodominance. Oh, field of ruin. Not bad. Uh, okay. Bye bye, Emrakul. And then I'll play Kozilex Command. These cards are both terrible. Come on, Third Breach. Really bad cards I found. Well, they don't have a second force because they draw it. So opponent has more of this. They'll get me. They will get me if they have more of that. Feel the ruin. Okay. I'll kick her so we make a spawn. I'll destroy Urborg. This combos with coffers. Although it's a legend. And then what's the other land I want to put into play? Probably just the Drazi Temple. I think it's the best one. Do I have now? Because I have a lot of it. Do I? I have 11 mana. Consuming corruption. Okay. I'll, um... I think this is free. No, it's not free. Alright, so let's play the Ulamog. Just ward sacrifice two permanents. And when you cast, exile half of their deck. Which again, it's a useless ability. They said to concede, but I mean. 
say why they made that ability. Oh, I guess to give it counters, but yeah, sure, I get it. I'll take it. I think it as a win. Mm. Do I once again want to set out the combo? Maybe I just trim. I can't really decide out. There's nothing to bring in. All this just seems bad. Actually, Kuzak's return seems bad. I leave in the combo. Mm -hmm. The bar. What am I looking for? Not necessarily Ugin's Labyrinth in this matchup. Hmm. Maybe Talisman. I like Talisman. Like old Razi Temple. They do want to get. Man, what's up with these? Like, what happens with this league? If you if you lose the first round, you only get paid actors. Or you should try not to lose the first round anymore, and then. Okay, very good end. The fountain tapped. Aldrazi Temple, go. This 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 isn't a tribal Aldrazi card. Unfortunately. Can cast this with Eldrazi Temple. All right, it's my turn for. I can't just jam the ring. I think so. I think it's the best play I have. Next turn I can kick her this so we make a spawn. It's maybe bad because my opponent now can play their own ring. But like, I can also just draw another ring. Let's see if they have their own ring. They don't. Very good. Oh yeah, this thing you can't click W on it. <laughs> All right, now I have to decide what land to get. I, th I, I can either Stone Rain, but I think this one might actually be annoying. Monumental Hinge. It's like, it's like a useful land. 
in the spot where my hand is pretty bad, so I may just draw go a lot here. And unfortunately, I don't have any threats among these cards. I can just get Co Cabin of Souls. I think that's the best option I have. Any prediction for August 26? Yes, the Winato will be banned. And that's it in Modern. No, nothing else will happen. Is that subtlety? Yeah. You love that you cast a spell, a creature, and they just cannot subtlety it. Very powerful, so we make a spawn. Not doing anything here, just trading damage, tossing back. I had a Urza Saga. Could have been good. Strong. Let's see if they counted this. They don't. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I get Ulamog. I play land. And I pass the with one point she was saying something to Mama. Now I have to decide here what to do next turn. Because I may go through the breach. And I just can't I just cast all the mug. Probably your team breaches if it resolves. This sucks. It's just a 7-7. Seven, seven. No? You are, I think, for the 40th month. So much time. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. If they just let the breach resolve, it's just pretty bad, I think. I wonder if Udon with the Father is better than Emrakul the Store. And like, I've been art casting it a lot. Uh, do I want to go to combat or playing steerings first? I guess I'll play steerings first. Okay, so here I can just get. I can get Emrakul and then my through the breach is live, but you know, they just have a counter, force of negation, and such. So I think it's just better to play ring. So to get ring. Oh, wow, opponent just. And he lets five here. Because uh, I guess Ulamog Exilen makes it have a knee later, even if you have nothing in exile. Okay, I'll play ring, you'll play...
you'll play force of negation play talisman and pass I board against control. We for sure have the two of this. We have Trina Spheres and we have sorry and we have World Breaker. I think I'll set out all this dust. So I have to set out four more cards. Can it just be two and two? Yeah, I think so. Alright, I'll think about them break. Be back. Let's go. Game two. I am Malian in this hand. Keeping this hand. Not very good though, but I'm keeping it. Uh, I think I bought him a Crook to Burn Willows, I think. Why did I not side in Bog? You're right. I should have sided in Bog. I missed it. My bad. What's a modern deck I love to play, but isn't good enough? Humans. Humans is a deck of the past that I love to play, modern. Hope it did a pity with humans. Aldrazi, pass. Hopefully my opponent just counters all the screens. Wow, two planes. That's an awful mana base you got there. Bonjourno Bamzing. Or a good night, I should say. Perfect. Perfect plan. A flage. Oh yeah, Bushuka Bog I think is good against the flage deck. Have I ever had a chance to try Ring Energy? Yeah, so as I said, I lent it to my friend. I don't know if you saw the, the, the tweet with the Surgical Extraction Boras, that was him. He actually went, uh, went 3-2. He went 3-2, losing to Burn, sideboarding in Surgical. <laughs> he won the mirror match with the ring, he said. This league has been awkward. Like round one, we lost a close match that I think like was kind of impossible to lose both game two and three, but I did. And then I just had like the easiest win of my life. Combination of just opponent just never doing anything and dying or, you know, making misclicks. Weird leagues so far for sure. He lost from outside player player. Yeah, no, the, the, that burn player had an interesting strategy. Basically, he didn't have any Goblin Guide or any Eidolon. His only creature was Monster's Fist Spear. He just had burn spells. And my friend, I, I saw his hands. I was I, other than the Surgical. His hands were like over removal spells. And maybe like one or two threats that the opponent just searing blades and searing blood. Yeah, Vortex. I, I feel like... Yeah, that was not... Uh, Unfortunately, then he ID the round five and finished ninth. Typical, typical uh, casual tournament experience. You know, you don't know how to do pairings. 
his breaking was his tie breakers was too bad. Yeah, he did last round anyway and finished ninth. It is what it is, though. The the deck was I can't, I can't play burn again. I could have asked his list. I lost in the top eight to Frog Tide. I was playing Nadu. I had like a turn one surveil. I surveilled Court of Calling in the graveyard, and uh, and then I died a lot turns later without threats. No surgical right now in the cyber is wild. So Surgical right now has a lot of good targets, but that this deck does not care about Flage. So your only targets would be Gorio and the uh, Aspiring Spy combo deck. So I think overall in this deck, you don't need Surgical. Because Flage, you have uh, uh, Devour of Destiny and Cozilus Command. So decks that can't deal with Flage make sense to have Surgical. I would still prefer other ways. Okay, so we have a lot of ways to not miss a second land drop, so we're, we're, we're fine here. This is the oldest card in the deck, Ancient Steerings. Actually, this deck has some old cards. Usually these are just... Usually these are just M Modern Horizons decks, but this deck is quite diverse. It's a proper modern deck, I guess. Yep, perfect. Let's draw Gin's Labyrinth. Oh, awkward. That's okay. I'll cycle. Awkward though, eh? Awkward, for sure. <laughs> just basically just a cycle. Not great, but it is what it is. Play steerings again. Looking for more lands. I think I'm happy with more Ogin's Labyrinth. Do I want to pitch Devourer? I think so. This way, if I top deck, I mean, eventually, if I draw through the breach, I'll have a win because it has X equal seven. Xander Lounge. That could be either Zoo or Creativity. Creativity it is. Oh, throw the Breach. Lucky. Okay, I'm not gonna pitch anything now. Just play Ring. I think I just play Ring. If you have, like, re Reprieve or Remand, whatever, it's fine. You'll have that on the Throw the Breach anyway. Pass. Hmm. Leila Binding. That's a card. That also answers Ulamog the Oh, never. Does it answer Ulamog the Filer? Yeah, right? Ward? Yeah. So Lila Binding actually kills Emrakul, but doesn't kill Ulamog. Just consistently Ulamog feels better than Emrakul. Two terrible draws. Two very terrible draws. Didn't I have a surgical, uh, didn't I have a surgical emote? No? You sure? I thought I did. I guess I just had a thumbnail. I definitely remember a thumbnail 
I got maybe even two different thumbnails of my face on surgical. This one, I think, would be pretty good emote for it. This one. So I had a thumbnail with my head here, but I think, yeah, this one. I, I'm pretty sure I had a, a emote or a thumbnail with my head there, bro. Alright, my opponent passes. Mm hmm. I just go so we make a spawn here. I think it's too good. I'll exalt your blue land and I'll fetch for one land well when I get. It's so awkward that like, every time you have to like fetch for a land, which usually is like a very powerful play, this deck just doesn't care about it. Like you don't have any useful land ever. You just get like a waste. Morning Black Smite. Next turn, I can get this back and then kill the Lilan Binding, maybe. Do it. Three, quattro, cinco, sei, sette. Yeah, that's, that's my play next turn. This turn, I couldn't have done it. Whoa. This play does not seem good. Are you reprieving your own reprieve? I think they are. I think they're reprieving their own rep No, never mind. I think that would have made more sense. Wow, stick reason. There's a card called the. Uh, what was it? The 4 mana 3 3 from Zendikar that I kick her and destroys a land. Mold Shambler, I think it's the name. Reminds me of this. Used to play Popper a long time ago in Tron decks. 4 mana 3 3. If you kick it, you destroy a land. A non creature permanent. A land, basically. Our opponent creativity is an archon. Sure. Uh, well, I bet. I'm a little breach. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. What tournaments will I play this weekend? Alright, this weekend I'll go to Pisa. Four hours drive to play the nearest RCQ that I have. Pisa is also the store of Bose, one of the best stores in Italy. He's invited me. So we'll have dinner together. We'll have a great time. I'll come with a good friend of mine. So I'll have a, I'll have a great time. Look forward to it. Allora, facciamo dismember over Kozlek's return. Yeah, for this RCQ, it's gonna be like 100 people though. It's just that nobody has RCQ bundles here. I think it's like, I don't know, I'm gonna assume it's like way more expensive than in America. I feel like, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't, I remember they said it was very expensive with the previous system with Legacy. And now I heard it's even more expensive. To, for a store to organize uh, RCQ, so just, they don't organize them. All this dust, hmm. So, is Worldbreaker better than all this dust? Probably. Do I want more Worldbreaker? I think not. I mean, it does exile Leland Binding. That's okay. Mulligan. Keep. 
Okay, let's let's read this hand. What does this hand do? What do I pitch to Gemstone Caverns? Baseju? It's kinda awkward. Are my actually what if? Listen to me. What if I keep and I bottom Gemstone Cavern? I think I will. Keep bottom Gemstone Cavern. Done. I think on a multi six going Jamstone Carver, and I didn't have like a fast thing and put in place a lot of uh, interaction with me, so I just feel like this is better. I had a nice little turn two, so we make a spawn. Red green, what you do? Ran and ticks. That's an old card if I've seen one. Let's go cover. Aldrazi. So we make a spawn. That's probably the oldest card in modern right now. I can't think of another card that's this old. Just the gameplay of Ren and Six just really belongs to the past. Oh yeah, I play my Planeswalker that returns two lands, so that on turn nine I will not miss my land drop. It's just such an old uh, gameplay. Versus all the cards, what do you think? I'm stupid? I'm just saying the gameplay. EVT, wow. Thank you for the prime sub for the sixth month. Thank you, thank you. You think Ephemerate is a card? Nah, I don't, I don't think Ephemerate is a play of the past. I think I think Ephemerate is still good in Gloria. I mean, it's a combo. It's a combo deck. Ephemerate Gloria. Pick your poisson on my talisman? I don't like pick your poison over Rana Fool. You have to play uh, Rana Fool for the, um, the combo deck. What's it called? Um, Nadu. Yeah, no. Turn three, kick so we make a spawn. I think it was actually a very good play to not reveal Gemstone Cavern. Sometimes that card may be a trap. Because I ended up using all my all my hand here. Do I just keep on getting the Drazi Temple? I think so. Yeah. My deck has cut through the breach. This card is uh, not the first set ever because, of course, is um, Mirrodin is the first set ever. But through the breach is definitely old. Old cards, well, I have the Talisman in the, my graveyard, Trinisphere, Chalice. But obviously, I wasn't meaning that. I was meaning just the gameplay of a past time. No, I don't think Sankuma Wugin is good. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what, what, do you, what should you like in that slot. Um, mm, mm, mm. huh. 
What's six card exile? Zero. Hmm. This is just a 7-7 seven, seven. we threw the breach. That's not great. I think I just played this in past though. And uh, yeah, I don't feel like making you play your reprieve here. Prime player is a birthing rituals. No, I don't think those are good. They're fine. Maybe you can like play a a deck with it, but all right, let's try. I think I will still uh, I will still do it. I'll play through the breach. I'll play through the breach. Even though this is just a seven seven. So the opponent doesn't know I may have Emrakul. So they have to reprieve. And like, you know, if I played Ring, they would have reprieved it and it would have been untapped. Whereas now they are somewhat tapped. I don't I don't feel like going for through the breach now. Maybe I should, should I? The thing is that I'm not lethal, because I just get a 7, get it. Let me read this card again, but I think it does straight up nothing. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. It's just a 7-7. Seven, seven. Emrakul would be much better here. I keep on saying how Emrakul would have been, this is better than Emrakul in different spots now. Yeah, I just, I can't, I can't do that. They just get Dwarven Mind Chump Locket. It's lethal if the opponent cannot do anything, but we're playing Constructed, they have 7 cards in it, and a Dwarven Minear, so... Exile Archon? This doesn't work the way you think. It's only when you cast... I, I had to read this card a lot of the time, so maybe I still miss something. Anyway, uh, let's play the ring. Works in paper, yeah. In paper, you can exile top twenty. I can definitely get creativity deer or two war cones. Did I make a land this turn? It didn't. This member, I needed this. I wanted that this turn. So my opponent will double arc on me. What do I do if they double arc? Oh, actually, there's a, there's the ring. They can't double arc on me. Orvin Mine. Now we can cast Ulamog, yeah. I mean, I've been casting Ulamog a lot. This is the third time I cast Ulamog. But it's not very good to cast, honestly. Alright, so. My opponent is at 5 life. I have 2, so we make a spawn. I think I want to start with Cozy Lux Command, Exile Goblin Shaman. Yeah. Does this play make any sense? Okay, let's do this. I can go Tearings. Find a Kuzuk's command and then I think I'm lethal. Yeah, Kuzuk's command I'm lethal. Through a remand. Maybe not. Hmm. I definitely want to cast the ring. The problem is that I cast the ring and my opponent... Okay, let's get the ring. Now... What do I do? Can I cast double ring gear? 
So I get four. Yeah, I think I can cast double ring. So I play Kozilek's command. Cast, make four tokens. Exile this guy. Reprieve. I can just go a ring. And then you go. I mean, I feel like this game is unlosable. So I mean, but it also felt the same about the previous game against the Frog Tide. So never say never. I choose the old one. They're in protection again, so they can't do anything. Yeah, I could have chosen the new one. I don't know. If like I have another one in hand, I think it's better to choose the old one if you have infinite life. Sorry, a lot of life. Kind of puts into play Archon, no triggers, because I have the ring protection. Right. Like this league has been extremely easy. We went very, very extremely easily to every every round, but we lost round one. Maybe if I lost round one, I would have played against different opponents for matchmaking. But the first match was also like not necessary. I, I played like turn two ring and I lost against Frog Tide. So I must have made some mistake. I also made some mistake in sideboarding. I, I, le I later learned how to sideboard. Anyway, the takeaway is that this deck is super powerful and uh, it's definitely going to be a driving force in the new modern. Post Nadu. This deck did poorly at the PT because of Nadu. But it will not have Nadu around soon. So it's going to definitely be one of the best. If you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Bye-bye.